Zhou Xin, Zhou Yu, and Zhou Ang were three brothers from Kuai Ji Commandery. It's unknown when they were born or who was the eldest, but they eventually succumbed to the chaos as they got caught up in feuds between the rival warlords of the time. Zhou Xin was only a politician, although it's mentioned that he died in battle. Zhou Yu and Zhou Ang were both military generals and politicians. When Zhou Xin was young, he travelled to Luoyang to study under Chen Fan until he was an adult, whereafter he enrolled in government service and became the administrator of Danyang Commandery. Zhao Ang would go on to be the administrator of Xi Yu Jiang Commandery, and Zhou Yu would briefly become the inspector of Yu Province. Zhao Ang has been confused with his brother Zhou Yu in some historic records, where it's wrongly written that he fought against Sun Jian in the Battle of Yan Cheng and personally killed Gong Sun Yui with an arrow. In the year 189, Dong Zhuo's tyranny had caused the regional warlords to unite against him. Zhou Xin and Zhou Yu drafted 2,000 soldiers and went to join up with Tao Tao and the other allied forces, whereafter they were appointed to serve under Yuan Shao. When Shao was elected to be the coalition leader, his jealous cousin Yuan Shu called him a family slave and not a true son of the Yuan clan. These insults are a reference to Yuan Shao's controversial family background, which is the main source of their rivalry. They are either half-brothers or cousins, but either way, Yuan Shao was situationally elevated above Yuan Shu to become the eldest son of the Yuan family. This role gave Yuan Shao more opportunities, power and benefits, such as being elected to lead the coalition, and would in turn fill Yuan Shu with envy. Yuan Shao retaliated to these insults by attacking Yuan Shu's territories that his subordinate Sun Jian was the inspector of. Zhou Yu was also named as the inspector of Yu province by Yuan Shao and then sent on his way to attack his own ally. Zhou Yu chose Yang Cheng to be his target as it was close enough to Yuan Shao's lands to be of use and easy to capture because Sun Jian was away. Sun Jian had previously built an outpost at that location to warn of any attacks from Dong Zhuo but he was surprised to hear that it was his own allies who were the aggressors, forcing him to turn back around to defend, to which he stated, Together we rallied troops of righteousness, with the purpose of saving the nation. The rebels and bandits are on the point of destruction, and yet people can act like this. Whom can I work with? Gong Sun Yui had been sent by Gong Sun Zan with a thousand riders to reinforce Sun Jian, so they combined their armies to retake Yang Cheng. Zhou Yu's forces managed to kill Gong Zun Yui very early on into the fighting, which raised their morale as they had just won the initial skirmishes. Sun Jian soon recovered though, and launched a counter-attack against Zhou Yu's army which defeated him. By this point, Zhou Ang had also been attacked by Yuan Shu's forces led by Sun Ben, so Zhou Yu retreated to go and assist his brother. Zhou Yu and Zhou Ang could not overcome Yuan Shu's forces, and were defeated in battle together, whereafter they abandoned their task and went back home. Yuan Shu then retaliated to Yuan Shao's action in kind. He appointed Wu Jing to be the administrator of Dan Yang Commandery, and sent him to attack their former ally. When Wu Jing arrived, he declared that all followers of Zhou Xin would be executed after the battle. Zhou Xin said, even if I were at fault, why should he drag civilians into this conflict? After this, he also then went back home to Kuai Ji Commandery. These battles confirmed the failure and marked the ending of the anti Dong Zhuo alliance, although they had managed to weaken the tyrant somewhat before they disbanded. The battles between the two Yuans caused the death of Gong Xun Zan's cousin, which then led to another feud between Yuan Shao and Gong Xun Zan. This continuous infighting further confused the other regional warlords and led to a power struggle between them to once again unite the realm. When Zhou Xin finally got back home, he learnt that his brother Zhou Yu had been murdered on his journey back from battle by Xu Gong, the administrator of Wu Commandery. The final record of any of the brothers comes five years later. Zhou Xin went on to serve under Wang Lang, who soon found himself under attack by the little conqueror Sun Tzu. Zhou Xin was sent out with the city's troops to engage Sun Tzu, but was defeated and killed in battle by him. As the only remaining brother, Zhao Ang continued to serve under Yuan Shao until his defeat at Tao Tao's hands. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.